They told me I was crazy building a basement in a flood zone, but Florida man being a Florida man, I believe this investment was well worth the risk. Whoa, you're mining crypto? How much is this operation worth? One million dollars. Wow. Uh, no, hold on, seven dollars. Oh. Back, back up, 12 million, back up to 12 million, 30 million, 40 million, 76 cents. Uh, 30 cents. A hay penny. Dang it! I gotta replace another GPU! And another gator! They've gotten so expensive. The GPUs, that is. My gators breed like rabbits. And if China invades Taiwan, it'll only get worse for GPUs. And gators. Probably. I don't know. If only we was manufacturing microchips here in the great U.S. of FLA. Somebody should get on that! Well, Biden wants to. Haven't you heard of the CHIPS Act? Do you think he even knows what a microchip is? The CHIPS Act includes $52 billion in subsidies for chip-making companies, $24 billion in tax credits, and $170 billion in scientific research over the next five years. But there's reason to be skeptical. Oh, come on. That sounds fantastic. As Republican Senator Mike Lee highlighted, the law doesn't require chip manufacturers to spend the money they're being given here in the United States. And Bernie Sanders pointed out that these tech companies receiving money have been raking in billions in recent years. The five biggest semiconductor companies that will likely receive the lion's share of this taxpayer handout, Intel, Texas Instruments, Micron Technology, Global Founders, and Samsung, made 70 billion in profits last year. Now dead socials hack my mainframe. Does it sound like these companies really need corporate welfare? Weird. If Mike Lee and Bernie Sanders agree on something, it might not be a partisan issue. The reality is there's more than enough money in our economy for private firms to invest. And there's massive incentive for them to do so. If private firms can't get their investment back on something like this, they'll lose massively. So there's more individual incentive for them to make pragmatic choices. But thanks to the CHIPS Act, right now, subsidizing them puts all the risk on the taxpayer. And I promise you, if and when the CHIPS Act fails, no one involved with it will suffer any consequences. I wish I could say the same for my mining operation, but if it fails, it's 110% on Florida Man. Whole thing was Bob's idea. Hey, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Why don't you subscribe and hit that notification bell? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought.